Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our next day's project series. In this video, we are going to protect our routes, right? So we have some dynamic pages like sign in, sign up, and once a user logged in, we should not allow that user to visit sign up and sign in page, right? So we need to protect them. So what we can do over here, let's go to the sign in and let's try to sign in. We'll say ash at the rate web script info one two three four five six. Let's do sign in. You see, we have got the ash name and then logout option. And we have not written any functionality to the logout yet. So let's reload this. And you are going to see everything back to normal, like welcome guest, sign up, sign in. Even if I have a JWT token is stored in my cookie. We go inspect and uh, go to that. Go to the application. And here you see the user is still authenticated, but I cannot see my details. I cannot see the authenticated user details, name and the logout option, right? So we need to protect them. So what we can do, let's go to the project. First thing I would like to correct in, from the previous video is the spelling of this authenticating is incorrect. So let's fix this. Copy it multiple times. And okay, so here we are. Let's fix this. So this is correct. Authenticated. I was missing last time. And another thing I like to correct in this uh, video is the authenticating. You are setting this uh, when you are making login request and you are making this true. And then you are setting the user. And the initial state of the user is uh, authenticating false. So your authenticator authenticating here will never be false because you are doing it later. So you have to just uh, do it later instead of uh, spreading before. Now it's correct. So save this. Now we're good. So here we are and let's go to the pages and let's go to the sign up index.js. So here we are going to say this is our sign up uh, component and we are going to get our uh, state variables like uh, authentication, right? So we'll simply say const and you will say state, comma, and second will be uh, I don't need dispatch over here, so I'll just leave it empty. Store, okay, and from the state, we'll try to pull authenticated, okay? So we'll say user equals to, and here we're going to say get value and we'll pass the state the past will be state dot user dot and that's that's all and if it is not there simply assign it to null okay so here the user is null save it and here if you do user and user dot authenticated hopefully the authenticated spelling is correct if user user dot authenticated true means it's a logged in user we should not allow him to visit this page right so simply say router dot replace and here we're gonna say a home page right and then return none okay save it now let's see it's working or not so here we are and here we're gonna say uh, okay what do we have uh, yep, sign up, hit enter, and you are in the sign up page. So, why? Uh, okay, we are expecting this authenticator to be like true because we are we have cookies, right? But uh, once a page reloads, everything gets flushed, right? Nothing is available, nothing is stored in the browser. So, we have to get it somewhere in the parent level, like uh, underscore app.js. Here we have this layout component. So, I can use this layout component to again revive the user right so let's go and go to the layout component over here index.js and here i this so every component uh wrapped with this layout component right so we can revive the user over here and we'll first identify the user is actually authenticated or not we'll put that we'll use use effect and here we'll write the hook and this is going to run only once and this is uh, a synchronous method. So we'll say sync. And here uh, I would like to get this stored. Const. And here we'll say state. 
and dispatch is also required if user is authenticated and we'll say use to okay we got the use to we don't need this navigation header let's remove this now here what we can do uh, we'll check uh, const here we'll say authenticated equals to get value and then state and here we're gonna pass uh, what is that uh, state dot user dot authenticated right so we'll simply copy this paste over here not authenticated and we'll pick false okay so from the state first we are trying to get let's say it's just a client navigation not a hard reload right so we can easily get that value but if it is a hard refresh like user has refreshed the page then we will not get here like uh, authenticated so it will be false by default so if that's a false and authenticated sorry not constant authenticated so if authenticated is false then only we'll check we'll make a request to the next auth and verify the session exists or not say session equals to wait get session okay so you can import this get session from next of client and here if session if session is valid and before that i will do like a dispatch and here we'll say if type and auth function dot login so request okay and if it's a valid user if there is a session exists then we'll say dispatch type of constant dot login underscore success and then payload that's again we'll pass like usual session okay so here we have our session else uh, if it's not an authenticated user even after the get session even after we call it this and try to get uh, get that key from the next auth and no session no token exists no session exists then it's actually not an authenticated user right so in this case we'll simply say dispatch and type and here we have say auth constants dot login video and payload is gonna be whatever the session is like null undefined or whatever it is we'll simply pass that so this will be within our error box right error property and also we'll log over here like if it actually works say console.log and it will say it's from layout because maybe it I have I'm logging somewhere else also. So log out and here we're gonna say what is it authenticated to so save and we're dispatching it now let's go and check this thing out. So as you can see it's already refreshed we got the logout now if I reload after that also we got immediately like ash and this logout let's try it again and you see there is a flash and then ash and then logout right if you go to the inspect console log and here you see law a layout initially when I when I reloaded the page it was false right now let's reload again and here you see login lo layout initially was, it was false because we have refreshed the page then it a uh, login request went and then a login success with a payload and then user we have all the details over here right now if i try to visit the sign up page and here we are right so as we are already logged in so we simply moved back to this home page instead of staying in the sign up page right the same stuff we'll do with the uh, login page right if you are an authenticated user then we don't need to uh, we don't need to like uh, validate it right so we'll simply go and here's a login handler let's close this thing up and uh, use to state let's go and copy things from the sign up and here let's copy this log in and paste over here from the sign up again copy and paste over here so user and user authenticated okay let's go and try to visit login page 
and get value is not defined okay let's pull the get value and here is the get value quoted save and now we are in the login page right so yes as you are logged in we move back to this home page right now we'll add a logout functionality so client sub nav navigation will be smooth and will not see that those flashes right so here we are going to say uh, what we can say uh, next chase and uh, yes and here we are going to look for logout okay so this is logout api and actually this is sign out so here is a sign out api and once the button click then you will be signed out okay let's try this sign out so let's go to the header and index.js and logout where is the logout button sign up yeah so we don't need this uh the link and this component because uh, we are going to add on click functionality over here And here we're gonna say sign out. Okay, the sign out that's imported from the next client. And here we are. So we're gonna say fix a property. Then we'll say redirect false. And let's on i think it returns a promise promise and here i'm gonna say result so kind of like similar uh, sign out let's try this it's working or not save and here we are and let's go over here let's go to the application and here we have these tokens let's click on this sign out you can see the token destroyed okay so sign out is working fine and if we see what we are going to print over here so we are going to simply say dot then and result right we don't need to do, do this okay and here we're going to say our uh, dispatch and you're going to type type say login underscore Auth constant dot login failure. Okay, save. So if you say login failure, so here what it is going to do, uh, it will make the authenticated authenticating false, and authenticated also false. Okay, let's try this. And here we are. And let's say logout login failure and we have got this sign in sign up button working fine right so now let's try this thing out so refresh the page we are in the login page now we are going to do as and here we are going to put password let's say sign in now we are in this ash uh, user profile uh, home page we have this logout button right we will say logout we got welcome guest sign in sign up so working fine right everything is perfect now, if you if you try to visit uh, again, do the sign in, hash and then password. Sign in. So here, if you do sign up, you're a logged in user. Now, if I'm going to do sign up, then you're going to see a login form, and then immediately you switch back to the home page because you're a logged in user. So we can fix this in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.